Thank you so much for joining our video session today on the new Maximo Anywhere 764 release. We are so excited to share the details of this release with you. This is our second in our video series about the release. In the first video, we reviewed the overview of the release with you. Now we're going to go into the details, and then in our third part, we'll review how you can get started with the new release and how to find additional information. So today, as we review the details of Anywhere 764, we'll touch upon items like its architecture, user experience, configuration, and administration. So let's jump right into this and start by reviewing the architecture. One of the best ways to highlight the new features is to compare it to its existing architecture, meaning Anywhere 763 and prior versions. That architecture of those releases is shown here. To highlight, at the very top, we have our Maximo Asset Management infrastructure. And you can see that Maximo then is communicating with a middleware component. The middleware component, which is mobile first, then communicates with our mobile device, our tablet or our smartphone is shown over here on the right hand side. But again, when we look at this architecture, notice that there's three components, Maximo, the middleware, and the mobile device. And the mobile device is communicating with the middleware, which then communicates with Maximo. As we move forward into our new 764 architecture, we've streamlined and simplified this. We now have two components. Maximo continues to be our main feature focus. That's where we build everything off of our platform. And then we have our mobile device over here on the far right hand side. And notice how our mobile device now communicates directly with Maximo. We don't have to go through the middleware component. So this simplifies everything in terms of communication and serviceability, installs, builds, and deployments. And the way that we were able to attain this new architecture is that features and functionality that we were previous reliant on in the middleware component, we've now capitalized and built new features over here within Maximo to enable that superior mobile experience for you. The other very, very critical part of the Maximo Anywhere architecture is our utilization of the REST APIs. This is very, very important for the three reasons stated here. Maximo Anywhere utilization of the REST APIs set it apart from our competition because our REST APIs are stateless, they're efficient and they're built for growth. I highly encourage you to read more about our utilization of the REST APIs within Anywhere and you can find a detailed data sheet on this at the URL below. So again, the combination of our streamlined architecture, our utilization of the REST APIs set the Maximo Anywhere architecture above and beyond our competition. With this new architecture, we are able to do things much, much quicker, including the Anywhere installation. What does this mean? Again, when we look back to our prior platform install, there were three components that we needed to both install and enable so they were communicating together. Maximo, on the far left hand side, our middleware component, including our middleware application server and database. And then on the far right hand side is our Anywhere build server, where we're going to build and deploy the applications. But now again, as we've moved forward and we streamline the architecture, one of the immediate results is our install is simplified. We now have two components, the Maximo server and the Anywhere build server. And again, you're going to find additional key information 
now within Maximo. We've added updates to the Maximo Anywhere administration application. We've brought the Anywhere application definition into the Maximo database. And if you're using push notifications, you'll additionally find a new push notification application available within Maximo. On top of the platform install, additionally, our application install is much, much easier and again, streamlined. So our application install, these are the unique applications for asset and work and inventory management. And if we look at how we previously installed them, it's shown here on the diagram. Starting here on the far left hand side, we first can download the application from a Google or Apple Play Store or from your own MDM product that you might have in house. After the application was put on the device, then we would have to enter the mobile first URL because remember again, the device is communicating with our middleware server that then communicates with Maximo. After that URL was noted on the device, the device would pull any application updates, any data that is required for the application on that unique mobile device data store. And then we're able to communicate through mobile first to Maximo. But again, as we move forward, things are so much easier. We're now going to download the Anywhere application. Again, we can do this from the Apple and Google Play Store. And after we do this, now we're not entering a middleware URL. We're entering the Maximo URL because the device is directly communicating with Maximo to pull the information, to pull the app updates, to pull the data it needs to be able to function on the device. Streamlined communication, streamlined serviceability. As we are highlighting the applications for Anywhere 6764, we also want to highlight that we have new applications on the Apple and Google Play Store. In our 762 and 763 releases, we had these applications that were shown here. Now, as we move forward with 763, we have a new set of applications, and these new applications are required for you to utilize the 764 infrastructure. To make it easier for you to distinguish the previous applications from the new applications, notice that we have a darker background, we have new icons that symbolize each one of the nine applications, and we've also slightly renamed the application. So for example, previously we had Maximo Work Execution, and now today we have Maximo Work Technician. And instead of Maximo Approval in the 762 and 763 releases, we have Maximo Work Supervisor. So again, new apps, new names on the Apple and Google Play Store, for the Anywhere 764 release. Now with those new apps, I do wanna highlight that the user experience is the same. Here is an example of Anywhere 763. This is the work technician application and you can see a list of work orders and the work order details over here on the far right hand side. But then as we deploy our Anywhere 764 application, Again, out of the box, the user interface is exactly the same. So you do not have to retrain your users. You do not have to re <coughs> recreate your training materials. Excuse me. I do want to highlight that you will see, however, some subtle updates. In addition to the new icon for the applications, the login screen is slightly changed. And you'll see this new unique splash screen when you log in. But again, the user experience overall is the same between the new Anywhere 764 release and our prior 763 and 762 releases. Let's highlight the Anywhere 764 administration. 
I mentioned earlier that we're capitalizing and building more features within Maximo Asset Management. And to do that, we've added new features and functionality to the Maximo Anywhere Administration application. You'll see a new tab for deployment. You will now deploy your Anywhere apps from the Anywhere Administration application. Additionally, as you'll deploy the applications, you can see multiple versions of the app at any time. You can only have one active version, so for example, one active work technician application, but you will be able to see the previous Maximo work technician applications that you may have deployed. Building on that, if you utilize push notifications, we're introducing a new push notification administration application in Maximo. To highlight what a push notification is, this is where we want to send a notification out to one of our mobile users, maybe notifying them of emergency or priority work, and we want this to occur automatically. So now with 764, we've brought that feature and functionality into Maximo Core, strengthening again on that capitalization. Before I show you this, I want to highlight that if you are using or you want to use the push notification application, you will require an iFix install to enable this. This is because we're adding new code to Maximo Core that won't be available until the new release of Maximo Core later in 2020 in the Maximo 7612 release. So to make sure you have that feature, you'll be, have to install the iFix. But what is really happening behind the scenes with the push notification that we want to be aware of? Well, again, looking back to how we do push notifications in our 763 and 762 environments, Again, starting here on the far left-hand side with our Maximo server, we would define the notification in the Anywhere Admin app. We'd utilize the Maximo integration framework, which then is going to communicate through our middleware component. And then depending on our middleware component, if we're using Android or Apple devices, the notification is sent to the device. But again, moving forward, we want to simplify this, and we've done that within Maximo 764. We define the notification in the push, excuse me, in the anywhere push notification in Maximo. Then, depending on whether we're using Android or Apple, we'll send that notification out to the device. Simplification, streamline communication. This is a theme that overrides within the Maximo 764 release. So that is a very brief review of the details of the Anywhere 764 release. In the next segment, I'll recap how you can get started with Anywhere, including key, consideration, key considerations if you are an upgrading Anywhere client. Thank you very much for your time.